here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hit me. Just pick one, but what is one of your most memorable summer movie going experiences? Oh dear God, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. Because I don't remember when movies came out. Okay. As you're pondering, I'll go first. I'll answer my own question. All right. Uh two experiences that I can recall, both kind of on the negative side. So maybe I'm just getting uh bitter with old age. It's entirely possible. But I remember like 20 some years ago going to see Pearl Harbor when it first came out. And this is back in the dark ages when you didn't buy, you know, reserved seats ahead of time. You just showed up to the theater early enough to buy a ticket, took the first seat available to you. And I remember getting the movie theater a good like half hour ahead of time, which I think back in the day was acceptable. And it wasn't even necessarily opening night. It was opening weekend. Yeah. And uh, the tickets were all sold out, and I was super bummed because I was extraordinarily hyped to see that movie. I still remember the trailer for that movie. One of the uh, money shots was a bomb being dropped from a Japanese plane, and the camera like kind of sees the bomb as it's coming down, and then it goes up above the bomb as it drifts through the wind and eventually just hitting an American battleship and exploding. It's a really cool shot. Uh, but that was disappointing. The, however, most disappointing summer movie experience that I have ever had, okay, opening night, The Dark Knight, 2008, so excited. I think I've told you this story yeah. before. I think yes. I have. Uh, or The Midnight Show, because that was also a thing back in the day. They didn't release movies on Thursdays for you youths, you soft generation of Oh, I can't stay up till midnight and see it on Friday. I got to go on Thursday. Spare me. Spare me. My mom didn't let me. (laughs) I wish your mom would have said something to me in this case because we go to the movie. It's glorious. We get a good two and a half hours in and we're right up at the ending scene where Harvey Dent has fallen off of the, the landing. He's broken his neck and died. Batman and Jim Gordon are dialoguing, and all of a sudden, screen goes black. And there's about five very pregnant seconds of silence where no one in the audience knows this is part of the movie. Wait a minute, what do we do? And then as the realization occurs that, no, no, this isn't right, boy, did words start flying? And you see in the like on the peripheral theater workers hustling back and forth. You're like, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Another couple of minutes pass. Obviously, we're all getting restless. And a theater employee comes to the front of the theater and says, we've had a malfunction with the projector. We're working on it. We should have it back up and running shortly. Okay, so nobody's really happy with that news, but we're stable, right? Situation stable. 15 minutes goes by and 15 minutes feels a heck of a lot longer than 15 minutes at this point. The same movie theater employee comes back out in front. This time he's flanked by another like four employees on either side. Smart. It, it is smart. It is smart because he says, we're so sorry. The film broke and we can't fix it. So good night. <laughs> And just, I feel bad for the person. Like, this is just the epitome of error of bad news and don't kill the messenger, except everybody wanted to kill the messenger. And so I'm left along with, you know, dozens or hundreds of other people to go home not knowing how the movie concluded. Now, we were close, right? Like, we're within two to three minutes of the film wrapping up, but we don't get to to hear Batman take on the burden of Harvey Dent's crimes or Jim Gordon give the glorious The Dark Knight line as Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, blazes off into the Gotham evening as the music crescendo. He didn't get that. So I had to go see it a second time, which I was fine seeing it a second time. I ended up seeing it three times in theaters. And they didn't refund you? They gave everybody... uh, Coupons to come back later. So a free movie pass to attend the movie later. Oh. Hey, 
the best they could do is a poo situation. That's not true. The best they could have done was give me like five free movies because I was devastated. Devastated. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah. There you go. On a positive note, I really enjoyed uh, Top Gun Maverick a couple summers ago. Oh, yeah. That was a pleasant surprise. I, my expectations weren't very high for that one, but I remember going to see it and just being blown away. Loved it. So, there you go. There's a positive mixed in with all the all the crumminess. So, I had to look up the release dates for these movies. Of course. Uh, so, I will put Avengers at mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. That movie came out. That was the Goodness. first, like, actually active audience that I've ever Sure. I'd gotten to be a part of, and I was right. like freshman in high school. Yes. Maybe a year younger. It might have been eighth grade. Yes. Uh about eighth grade summer. Anyways, never had that experience mm -hmm. before. I went with my buddy. Yep. Phenomenal. People are just into it's it. It's great. Yeah. It's like, yes. And then the other one would be Iron Man. And I went mm -hmm. to that with my dad. It's good. Because my dad's like, you gotta go see this movie. Sure. It's be sweet. Okay, I know nothing about Iron Man. Also in 2008, so nice that we're bringing this yes. full circle. That's and I, great. I came out of that movie with my dad, and I was like, that was awesome. My life has been changed. Because I was like, that's the first time I've ever seen a superhero be like, yep, I'm him. <laughs> that's me. I'm Iron Man. And I was like, blown away. I was like, no way. He's just okay with people knowing that. Yep, yep. So, right. That was a big yeah. deal with that movie, because every other superhero movie that any of us had seen up to that point was the superheroes always like veiled behind their alter ego, right? They're two yeah. totally separate entities. You don't tell people, hey, I'm Iron Man or I'm Batman or I'm Superman. It's it's just part of the superhero package. Like, right? and, that, and that's how it ended. Like, yes. I am Iron Man. Yes. And movie. And you're like, whoa, what? <laughs> What's this Incredible. opening the door for? Incredible. And sure yeah. enough, Iron Man 2 comes out. He's got a giant target on his back mm -hmm. for... I wonder why. <laughs> what could go wrong here? Somebody Tony? stole someone else's tech. <laughs> but fucking no. Oh yeah. So I That's great. That's a great pull. And then yeah. Dude, this was a good year overall. Yeah, it was a great year for yeah. superhero movies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Two iconic movies coming out of that with yeah. The Dark Knight and yeah. Iron Man. No question. Oh, the oh. good old days. It's a good uh, good trip down memory lane.